fear for the Lord. I can't turn down. Talking too much bread. Time for you to learn now. Up to what they hear and get offended by the word now. But we're reading the King James Version Bible. Right. This was translated. There's nothing wrong with the books that we have in here. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just we haven't been taught the true understanding of it. Give me John 14, 15. This is what we haven't been taught. Because in the churches when you grew up, did they teach you you got to keep God's laws and commandments? Did they teach you in the Bible you have to follow what's in the Bible? Did they teach you in the Bible what they had to follow the Bible? Always. Yeah? So, do you all keep Passover? Bring it out. Y'all keep Passover? Translate. Ah, uh, la Pascua. Tell about la Pascua. Not Easter, not Easter. No, no, la Pascua. La Pascua, yeah. When is, okay, so what is the Passover? You know what Passover is, Christian? No. You don't David. know. David. Oh, my bad. David, I'm sorry. David, David, David. You, you know what the Passover is? Friends. No. So guess what? That's the commandment of God. Right. right. We're not teaching it. They're teaching right. us how to keep right. Easter. Right. How to keep Ash Wednesday. Right. Good Friday. Right. Fat Tuesday. Right. The Holy Week. Right. They told us to worship this guy. Right. So read John 14, 15. John chapter 14 and verse 15. Bring out. If you love me, keep my commandments. La Biblia dice, si ames a Jesucristo, guarda los mandamientos. Right. If you love Christ, what do you got to do? Do the 12 commandments. Keep the commandments. The Bible says, keep the commandments. Right. So, un mandamiento. Right, Leviticus. Right? Uh, no, Leviticus 19, verse 29. Bring Right? Because... One thing is, they don't teach us how we're supposed to dress. Right. They don't teach us how, uh, how we're supposed to look. Bring Those are commandments. God gave us specific commandments, right? Mm. Let me ask you something. Is that your natural hair color? No. No? You change it. I change it. Why do you change it, sis? Uh, I guess I was worried about my own hair color. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about blonde, right? That's blonde hair, right? Watch that. Read that. 1929. Leviticus oh, 13. Chapter, yep. chapter 13 verse 29. Yeah. If a man or a woman have a plague upon the head or the beard, then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. So the Bible's talking about, you hear that? The Bible's talking about if your hair on your head or your beard got a yellow thin hair. What is blonde? Yellow. 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 Right. So it said, read it from the top. So you said what the, the topic is. Read it in from the top, verse uh, 29. So, if a man or a woman have a plague upon the head. Now jump down to where you were. So it's talking about a plague. If it has a what? A plague upon the head. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair, sis. Right. So God said, God is saying blonde hair. It's a plague and it's unclean. Right. But guess what? We're not taught. We're not taught that in the churches. Ch that's why they gave you to Jesus Christ. They gave him a blonde hair, blue eyes. It's it's, it's leprosy. Yeah. Right. Can you read it? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Uh -huh. It is a dry scalp, uh -huh. even a leprosy upon the head or beard. So God is saying, us having yellow hair or blonde hair, putting that blonde hair or yellow in our hair. It's a plague. It's leprosy. It is unclean. Right. So does God want us to have blonde hair? No. No, sis. <laughs> so what should you do? <laughs> well, you know, you can let the, let the hair grow back out. Let it grow back its natural right. color. Right. Let it go back its natural color. Don't That's put yellow right. in your hair. That's, That's right. a plague. That's leprosy according to God. You right. understand what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm going black, black to black. Actually. That's your natural hair color. That's your right. natural hair color. That's what you got to do. You got to love yourself because we've been taught. Blonde is better. What, the blondes will have more fun? Right. That's a lie. Huh? Yeah, the light skin. Yeah, the light skin have more fun. Guess what? God, give me real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Psalm 13 and 3. Because we got to understand, if Christ is black, what do you think God is? For you. I don't know. They said, let us man. In the beginning, it said, let us make man in what? <laughs> in our what? <laughs> right, we're going to read this. Watch. We're going to read this. I want you to hear this. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. Bro. With whose beauty, if they being delighted to them to them to be gods, uh -huh. let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Uh -huh. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So God, he created the Israelites. He created Christ. He's the first author of beauty. That's right. So if God created Christ to be a black man, how does he look like black skin, dark skin? Bro. It's beautiful. That's right. But we're taught here in America that it's ugly. Right. It's disgusting. You heard about that? They, you heard that people say being black is ugly and nasty and dirty. Right. Mexicans are bad and ugly. Yeah, they say that. 
They say that about the Mexican man. They say that about the black man. Right. They only worried about their own color. Right. And, and that's why they gave us that. Right. So we destroy it. And guess what? We have sisters. And you probably didn't know, sis. But a lot of our sisters, because they've been taught that black is ugly and dark is ugly, so they want to change the way they look. Wake them right. up. Not only that, they'll change their color, they change their contacts in their eyes, they make Jeez. blue contacts. You see what I'm saying? Right. You see sisters like that. They do that, right? Bring and up. guess what? God said he's Elysian. But uh, he, they say that... Um, they say that's our, uh, that's beautiful. But guess what? God made you beautiful right. the way you are. He made the black man and the uh, Hispanic woman beautiful right. as Israelites. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Yeah. Because the, what, the, the main thing we want you to get out is that y'all Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, right. Y'all not Mexican. Right. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not African American. Right. Y'all not Haitian. Right. That's not who we are. Right. What are the names for? What are the names for? I'm going to show you. Watch. Look right here again. Right, Deuteronomy 101. Because one thing we learned in the Catholic Church and the Christian Church, David, Isekar, es su tribu, de la nación de Israel. Main thing there, you're African American, you come from the tribe of Judah. But the blacks, Hispanics, and Americans, we're the same, we come from the same nation of people. Right. We are brothers and sisters. What happened to us in history, slavery, captivity, happened to us as a nation of people. Deuteronomy 101. Watch. Let's see who the Bible's talking about. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who is Moses speaking to? All Israel, which is us. You're right, sis. You follow along. All Israel. Now look what he told the Israelites. Verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded his day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So real quick, David, how old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen. So you live with your parents still, correct? How do y'all, y'all boyfriend, I'm girlfriend? Twenty-nine tomorrow. Twenty-nine tomorrow. Okay. So are y'all married? Y'all married? No. Boyfriend, girlfriend? Boyfriend. Okay, we're gonna touch on that. But guess what? Y'all grew up with your parents, right? Yeah. They gave you laws. They gave you a standards of how you should conduct in their house, right? Now, if you didn't do what they told you to do, what would happen? Bring it up. La chancla. El cinturón. Right. La castiga, right? They're going to whoop you, right? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? God's saying the same thing to his people. The Israelites. He said, if we don't keep the commandments, I'm going to send curses upon you. A curse is not a good thing. Now you said, what does this mean, right? Verse 37. Because we don't call ourselves Issachar. We don't call ourselves Judah. We call ourselves Mexican, African-American, Puerto Rican, Cuba, Cuban. But that came from the Spaniards. That came from the Spaniards and the so-called white men when they came and conquered this. You follow what I'm saying, lady? Read out. Right? Read that, verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Look what he said, lady. Uh, Jose and David. I want you to understand what he told the Israelites. Who we are. Look what he told the Israelites. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So he said, the blacks and the Hispanics, he said, told the Israelites, y'all going to become an astonishment. What's an astonishment? What is something you see crazy that goes on in the black Hispanic community? Bring it out. What do you see that's crazy in our community, David? I'll start with you, David. Fighting each other. Our own people fight each other, right? What about uh, us selling drugs to each other? Right. You see that? What about prostitution? Y'all see that in our communities? Well, I haven't seen it lately, but yes. But you see it. It's in the black and Hispanic community. If you go to La Jolla or Coronado, you see that going down in their communities? No. No. Who lives over there? Wake them up. The rich people. The, the, the white man. The, the, the Asian man, right? But God said that the Israelites were going to go through these curses. So what's your nationality? Before you leave, David, what's... No, no, no. According to the Bible. From what nation? You're from the nation of what? You're from the nation of Israel, from the tribe of what? And God said if we don't keep the commandments, we're going to be what? Cursed. Right. Cursed. So we got to keep the commandments, David. I know you got to go, but check that information. But real quick, you got to go? Real quick, real quick. So we got to keep the commandments as what? As What is our nationality? Israelites from what tribe? It's a car. It's a car. Uh, so we gotta keep the commandment as a, as an agent. So keep the commandment. So no more blonde in your hair. Another commandment. Read Deuteronomy 22 and 5 when you get a chance. Okay. Sisters are not allowed to wear pants. That's right. You gotta wear dresses and skirts. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. As you leave, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Right, go ahead, you go Deuteronomy ahead. chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Huh? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman shouldn't put on a man's garment, which is pants. Yeah. Men are not supposed to be wearing dresses and skirts. So sister, you got to put on dresses and skirts. Right. That's what you got to wear. That's what God said, sis. Yeah. If you don't do that, it's going to be punishment. Right. It's going to be punishment. So you got to keep the commandments, sis. Bro, you got to keep the commandments. 
All right? All right, check that information out. What's your nationality? According to the Bible. It's a car. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.